Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a quick guide to uh, a new event site. It's uh, part of the Capsuleer Day Clash event and it's called Edencom Production Facility and spawns in HiSec. A few words to uh, the fit first. We have a uh, Gnosis here. This one is a bit of a tight fit. Um, in terms of tank, you will see while running the site it's going to be uh, quite close, but uh, you can assume this as kind of a baseline. What do you at least need to uh, survive um, the site? So let's start. We have a uh, heavy assault missile based fit, therefore we need some application support. That being a uh, web, we have a precision uh, script in a guidance computer as well as a paint. In uh, terms of tank, we're running a reactive armor hardener. The rats shooting at us will kind of do all kinds of uh, of damage although they favor thermal and uh, explosive being triglavian they will even ramp up that uh, damage type so the reactive hardener will uh, kind of adapt to that we have a uh, tech 2 armor rep in this and uh, energized adaptive nanomembrane plus a damage control there is some uh, ballistic control systems to you know increase the dps a little bit uh, we have a battery plus a cap recharger to drive it all. Um, there's a little bit of tank support as well in uh, in the rigs. We got uh, auxiliary nano pumps, tech one and a uh, tech two. And one module which might be a bit uh, confusing at first, this is a warp disruptor. At the final wave, you will have a situation where uh, the rats at some point will want to warp off and you would like to kind of, you know, get the uh, the good loot, the cruiser loot. So you will hold down the uh, second cruiser with the uh, last wave. That is why there is a uh, warp disruptor in this fit. And uh, at the end, there's also a salvager, which you can make a little bit of additional money. The uh, Triglavians, uh, the Triglavian Rex will actually uh, provide the same salvage as with the um, conduits. So bring the salvager, get another additional two to three million per site. That uh, was the fit. So let's have a look at the um, running the site. All right, it's called Eden Calm Production Facility. Um, it is a gated content. Once you warp to one of these anomalies, you will have a uh, beacon popping up in the overview so you can tell when you enter a system and uh, there's a site, uh, Eden Calm site, and the beacon is up, somebody's already there, so maybe don't bother and just uh, move on, run the next site. Upon uh, warp in, there's not much uh, to see yet. I uh, deploy my M2 to get uh, the loot pulled um, in right away. I'll go into an orbit to reduce the incoming damage a little bit. Doesn't do much. I don't have a prop mod and there's going to be webs, so uh, it's not really a sick tanking situation here. Um, after a few seconds, the uh, first wave spawns and depending on you know what you're afraid of, you're going to kill uh, the things that, well, you're afraid of most first. Um, for example, the starvers or the tanglers, if you want to try to do uh, sick tanking or you kill some liminal um, uh, rats, which, you know, do damage all over the place. If you want to limit the incoming damage to, to thermal and explosive, that's another uh, valid tactics. Um, keep in mind, if you launch your drones before a wave spawned, uh, there is a good chance that the wave will uh, change target and uh, shoot your drones and uh, they take damage pretty quickly. Uh, so best thing to do is after killing one wave, you want to uh, bring your drones back in and put them out once uh, you got the aggro from the next wave. Further uh, to notice is that all the rats except one uh, will stay within four to eight kilometers range. There is uh, the final rat, uh, the uh, final uh, logistics Rodiva will try to stay at 11 kilometers but that's the furthest uh, it goes. So this is a site where, you know, close range weapon, weapons uh, brawling is, is actually working very well. So we're 
getting close to the uh, end of the first wave. There is some kind of weird uh, thing happening with the wave. Sometimes you get additional uh, warp ins while you're fighting a wave, and uh, sometimes uh, at first only one or two targets uh, warp in, and after, I don't know, 30 seconds you will get more targets. So it's not really a clear like wave cut all the time. You can see it here. There is a blinding Yerognik uh, coming in after I'm almost done with uh, with the current wave. I think there is a amount of five to six waves, roughly. I, I haven't counted. Uh, with this fit, it's going to take roughly four minutes to uh, to finish the site. Um, the fit is in uh, the uh, video description as usual, plus there's a little bonus as well. I have a Dracovac uh, fit which is a bit safer to run and also a bit quicker uh, to deal uh, with this site um, and it's obviously cool to to fight fire with fire uh, as in you know a Dracovac Triglavian battlecruisers against the uh, Triglavian vessels here. Uh, what you want to make sure is to start salvaging right away. I kind of uh, missed that here. Um, it is totally possible to salvage everything until the site is done if you keep uh, your salvager running. No problem there. So we have another group of uh, Triglavians. They are of all kinds. Um, we have logistics tanglers, uh, which do webbing. We have uh, disruptors. We got guidance disruption. The uh, tracking disruptors as well as nuding so you have to prepare be prepared for everything and now well there's not much to say at this stage so i will just turn up the music a little bit and uh, we will uh, watch the site Fun fact, the reason why I'm using uh, the radial menu um, uh, now in the video is the fact that I had to pick up a little one, she was crying, so I could play the game with only one hand, so the fit can't be that bad because uh, you can play it with just one hand.
And here we go, the uh, final wave is uh, arriving. We want to make sure to uh, kill uh, one of the cruisers super quickly because it's going to hurt. You will see the tank will drop quite low. And at some point we also want to start pointing the uh, uh, Rodiva so it doesn't warp off because we want to have the loot from that vessel as well. I uh, was still playing with one hand here, so I couldn't overheat. I was just hoping the uh, vessel would uh, hold, and uh, it did. Lucky me. notice that the uh, frigate will warp off eventually at the same time also the uh, Rodiva would warp off but since it's uh, disrupted it can't The site is uh, finished, the uh, last loot is being uh, pulled in and uh, I'm still salvaging uh, a little bit. The salvage will again provide 2 to 3 million per uh, site. As for the loot you will get uh, agency boosters, there is skins uh, event based. We have some kind of standing booster in there as well plus some uh, Triglavian survey data sheets as well as uh, what's the other one, this red thing there some lower item will be dropping as well plus you know a shit ton of uh, kind of tech one or uh, meta uh, crap you don't really need and that's the site so uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye <laughs>